I met Andy Roddick. He's a big Dave Matthews Band fan. He was playing a, a tournament in Cincinnati, and you know, so he came out to one of our shows. You know, came up on the bus, and we were hanging out and stuff. And, I, and I'd seen him play um, maybe like one time before. And I said, wow, this kid's a really an exciting player. Goes out with a lot of heart, and he sort of uh, sparked my interest. It's a big tennis community here, you know. A lot of people play tennis here. I really just sort of became to really appreciate the program that they had going on there. The Boardshead Sports Club came up to me and asked me to sponsor a USTA Women's Challenger tennis tournament. And, you know, I, I, I just love this club so much and I love tennis so much that, you know, I was glad to do it. We've been doing that for, I guess, about the last four years or so. When I was growing up, um, a lot was given to me by people in the community. So I wanted to just, in turn, give kids here the opportunity to play music and to have the access to things like tennis and also to academic tutoring. So I established a scholarship fund through the uh, Charlottesville City Schools that provides kids with instruments and lessons. I think there's so many kids out there that have talent, whether it be tennis or whether it be music, that won't really be able to access those talents unless they are provided with opportunity. It makes me feel great, you know. I mean, I see all these kids out there, you know, their tennis rackets out there playing, and knowing that they probably wouldn't have had that opportunity had no one stepped forward and, and, and helped them out. <laughs> tennis to me, you know, it's just a lot like boxing. It's just like man-to-man. -man. It brings out, I think, a lot of heart out of players. You can be down in tennis and you can fight and you can come back and you can come out on top. In tennis and in music, you got to be out there and you got to be in the moment. You know, you've got to be willing to give all that you have, and, and really, you have to be willing to give more than what you think you have. You got to perform, and you know, it takes heart. You know, it, it takes talent, and it takes giving all yourself to to what you're doing at that time. You know. You have to be willing to just completely open yourself up. At that moment, you got to do whatever you got to do to make sure that that ball doesn't get past you. So I was just, you know, blown away to get this opportunity, man. And uh, I mean, the first thing that I thought about, you know, when I thought about this music was uh, drama. Wimbledon, you know, just like such a traditional tennis tournament, you know. A lot of anticipation built up. Sort of uh, starts off very sort of quiet string section that slowly builds uh, into a, like a big trumpet fanfare. Sort of uh, the announcing of uh, the royal arrival um, to this great court. The feeling that I get and, and the, the vision that I had in my head was almost like this carriage ride uh, going to the Wilmington Championships and all the anticipation of what was about to go down. I wanted the main melody to be this sort of grand, dramatic music that really sort of symbolizes the tradition and the grandeur of Wimbledon. Two things that I absolutely love, you know, music and, and tennis, and I get to put them both together. Um, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't imagine anything greater, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm still blown away by it.